Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. This is the Lake on Type 8, and I'm sure everyone is sick to the hind teeth about hearing about it. Whether you're going to buy one in game for Arx or wait till it comes available in a couple of months for credit, this typically is a new ship. A lot of questions have been asked, especially around the fact well, how far can you be able to get this thing to jump? Well, we've got two builds here. We've got the maximum amount of jump range I could get out of this. And then the second part of the build is, hey, well, if you are going to use an explorer, let's be practical about it, eh? Anyway, this is going to be my exploration and how far can it jump build video. Check it out. Okay then, Commanders, let's get this thing jumping as far as it possibly can. This is the standard Lake on Type 8, and I've made a few special modifications, as a great man once said. Right then, absolutely no hard points. Utility mounts, absolutely no utility mounts. Core internals, right. <clears throat> I had a bit of stick for this. Did you know that lightweight alloys actually have no weight? Well, now you do, so there's no need to engineering, engineering with them. Even though I did engineer it, the modifications have given me some additional resistances. But there you go. You don't need this. Don't waste the mats. Doesn't matter for me because I'm on a test server and the mats don't matter. I've gone for a 2A power plant, right? Overcharged, stripped down. Simple as that. There it is. It gives me enough power and it gives me considerable weight advantage. Thrusters, D. Dirty drive tuning, stripped down. Right? No problem. Frame shift drive, SEO. Increased range, mass manager. Got it up to grade five, went to see our friend Felicity. Life support, lightweight. Power distro. Just left it as it was. We could have done something like strip down and all the rest, but, but what was the point, really? Sensors, 3D. Again, we went lightweight with them. Fuel tank, look, I'm only there for one jump, right? And what we've done is we've split the tanks. This is a 1C capacity fuel tank, and I'll explain this in a minute. Right, then we've got a fuel scoop, because you kind of need one. And it doesn't weigh anything. And I got a frame shift drive booster. That's going to get us up to the maximum of this is 60.23 light years. Now, I got another fuel tank, a 3C. I was talking to somebody on stream, goes, split the tanks. Let's see if it makes a difference. Anyway, we did. We've got it up to 59.69 or 59.64 currently. That's the jumper build. Now, would you do anything different? Would you? Is there anything you would? I mean, just take all the fuel out and just get enough for one jump? I mean, this is, it's got an SEO drive. It's a thirsty ship. I mean, to be honest with you, there's not much else we could really do. One more thing I did do, I did ax. Did put on a little bit more dirty drive tuning. Just one more. Anyway, anything else would have exceeded the mass, so I couldn't do anything else. Anyway, there you go. That's kind of what we've got. That's the build. We've got it for 59.69, 59.64, 60.23. Now, here's the thing. Don't forget to put fuel in it, right? This is fueled. This is as far as this ship is gonna go at the moment with current technology. Now, 59.64 is not bad with no fuel in it, 60.23. But you're not gonna be going anywhere, if you know what I mean. So, just to go through that build once again. Nothing in the yard points, nothing in utility mounts. Everything has gone lightweight here. We could do a little bit more there, perhaps. Mm, I don't know, but 60.23 light years. Now, with this current fuel configuration, what are the, how far can I jump the thing? 
Well, I'm currently here at Shinrata. How far can I go? I can go there, it's great. 61.4 light years. How far can I go without it freaking out? All the way down here to HIP 93310, perhaps? No, where does it end up? We run out of fuel right there, that particular fuel star. Which is interesting. That's how much fuel we've got. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. We probably still got a little bit in the tank there. Um, can we go a little bit further? 79? Well, we can go 79. Can we get that up to 80? Ooh, there we can, look at that, 82. Hundred and twenty. Hundred and thirty-two. No, we bopped out up at hundred and twenty. So you know, you've got hundred and twenty light years worth of range. Really, it is what we've we've kind of said it's going to be, give or take the shouting, but that's kind of where it is. So in regards to a jump build, not bad. If you're going to make this an explorer and make this an explorer properly so that it's usable you're gonna need some sort of weaponry right you know something nice and light you're gonna need a decent power plant okay and that's gonna eat into this so an operational build of this is more than likely gonna be around about 55 50 what do you think Let's build it up now. Right, okay, so if we go for like a standard power plant, uh, let's face it, we can just bang in a class five or guardian power plant right there, class four, give us all the power we could possibly want. We could even have a 4A to be honest with you. We can buy and equip that. Thrusters, well, replace that module, we'll go for a 5A. It's having an impact, but not that much. Leave the life support as it is. We'll put the distro on there. Might as well go for the Guardian one. Why not? In fact, what we'll do, between the Guardian distro, The 4A is actually better for us, so we'll go for that. Now, we're exploring. Let's replace that back with the fuel tank that it came with. We don't really want anything here, to be perfectly honest with you. Core internals. The power plant. Yeah, we're okay with that. We're okay with all of this. Optionals. Going to keep the fuel scoop. I'm going to bang in a bi-weave. Where are we? Shield generators. See, that's hit us hard, that is. That's hit us really hard. Um, the bi-weave will do. We've got one here. What's... What's the modifications on this? Reinforce shields. Yeah. You know. We'll go for a standard by weave shield generator. We're down to 54. We don't really need that fuel tank, but it's up to you. We'll sell it. And we'll have a surface scanner. Because you kind of got to have a surface scanner if you're going to be out and about around town. And you know what? Might be worthwhile just putting in a cheeky vehicle hanger. Something that's nice and light. We've got the power. Buy and equip. 
And that's kind of your bare minimum, really, isn't it? Right? 54.21, 54.68. There's no cargo here. Let's put in a cargo rack. Just in case you find something tasty. And I suppose you want something that isn't going to go break in the bank. Pop in a beam laser. What's this do for our power? Takes us well over. In which case then, let's replace that with a five. So, if I was going to say, this is a build I want to go with, this is typically what I've got. We are going to need an SRV. Go for the good old trusty Scarab. That's kind of it. Bare bones, bare minimum. You know what I mean? Anyway, let me know what you think about this build. This has been a test server anyway, so it's allowed us to play and put different modules in, so that's great. This has been the Lake on Type 8. Let me know what you think. I've been Ricardo. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Check out the streams on the weekend. I'll see you soon.